Speculation is growing this afternoon over the future of NBC's Megyn Kelly. She did not host her morning show today, and a network spokesperson says viewers will see taped episodes of Megyn Kelly today for the rest of the week. Kelly did apologize yesterday on air for comments she made about blackface Halloween costumes. Sources say Kelly has hired an attorney, which could signal a battle over her contract, which reportedly pays her $23 million a year. In good health, for the first time in nearly 20 years, there will soon be a new treatment available if you happen to get the flu. The FDA has approved a drug called Zofluza for patients aged 12 and up. It can help reduce the severity and duration of symptoms if you take it in the first two days of feeling sick. The drug is a single dose, which is an advantage over other treatment options. Experts stress you still need a flu shot to help prevent the flu. First of four, we are tracking stories making headlines all around the world this Thursday. We start in Japan, where a 42-year-old man has been arrested for uploading videos of women using public toilets. Investigators say he made close to $90,000 using hidden cameras and then selling those videos to websites. They say he preyed on women using bathrooms in Tokyo restaurants and that he admitted to his crimes. In the western Pacific Ocean, Super Typhoon U2 slammed into the northern Mariana Islands yesterday. The small U.S. territory experienced widespread damage from the storm that brought up to 180 mile an hour winds. Late today, the governor's office confirmed one person has died. A state of emergency has been declared on the island of about 52,000 people, and FEMA has begun relief operations.